This is also a hybrid, as you can see at the front, it's a Havel H6 HEV, also a hybrid electric vehicle. In here is an a up-tuned version of a 1.5-litre four-cylinder turbo engine with an even bigger electric motor assistance. So this has over 500 newton meters of torque. Again, class-leading figures. At the front, they've really gone all out again to make this car stand out in terms of design. You've got this big toothy grille, a lot of chrome, and the headlights are super modern as well. I think this is the becoming a signature trademark of GWM as a whole uh, in, in all the sub-brands. Underneath them, Aura, Aura, Haval, and so on coming with a car that is, you know, slightly, perhaps you can call it over-spec for the Malaysian market. I think it just looks fantastic. Let's go around the car as well. You've got large wheels, a lot of chrome inserts, and, you know, this is a pretty handsome-looking car. It's a large one. It's a C-segment SUV. At the back, it does look pretty good, does it? This whole strip of LED... This reminds me of a much more expensive car, a rather tasteful Haval badging, GWM over here, H6, HEV, and of course, this being a big car, it comes with electric tailgate as well, and take a look at the boot, more than big enough to dump in a whole load of you know, shopping bags, travel luggages, and all that. Now let's take a look inside, where I think you will be pretty impressed. If you thought the Julian was a nice interior, this takes it up to a whole new level. The level of plushness, the specs of this car is on a different planet, I think. Everything is nice to the touch, all soft as well. You've got leather cladding pretty much everywhere. Yet another large panoramic sunroof at the top. You've got the seats as well. And you can see the perforation over here because it's ventilated. So you can cool yourself from the seat up, and, you know, that's perfect for Malaysian weather. And again, the seats are just, you know, there's something about them. They're just so comfortable, I think. Now, the design itself is pretty simple. Again, you've got the rotary dial over here. You've got your traditional electric parking brake down there. A wireless charging pad down here. A widescreen touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That is becoming more and more important these days. To me, it's a deal breaker if the car doesn't have it. I won't even consider them to begin with. You've got a widescreen full digital instrument cluster as well. So it really does feel very, very modern inside here. Now, let's go check out the rear. about space man this is it's absolutely massive back here just look at the amount of leg room that i have i know i'm not the tallest person around but even if you're like you know six foot 180 185 190 you will feel very very comfortable in the back here and it's not just about space either leg room even if you're the tallest person around you can fit in the back here no problems but it's just the level of comfort in back here is just you know amazing the the seat is just so plush so soft and the back it really you know wraps around you um it's hard for me to describe just how comfortable this car is you really have to try it yourself which you can do here this weekend 